What is happening people and welcome back to the Oxford United career mode. And back into the mix of things in this Premier League season. We start the episode today in the transfer deadline day. Ten hours left. Now, I'll be honest with you, we're probably not going to bring in too many more players. Um, as you can see there, we've signed 20 million um, and we sold Escobar for four. So we, we, we've spent a bit of money. Um, the actual wage budget itself now isn't looking fantastic. We've got about, about two mil left. Um, if we sort of balance it out for the wage budget as well, just in case we want to... Uh, do any more contracts and stuff we've got about a mil plus 40 odd k of, of wage bonus so we haven't got a lot of money really left in the uh in the pot we're gonna have a quick look at the squad hub as well uh just see who are who our most expensive player is so marcus brown is 20 million then you've got tyrese campbell who's 14 and a half million then Bakuna 13 and a half diallo 13 million and i'll, I'll scroll down and obviously you, you can see you can read on screen rather than me uh, repeat myself <laughs> over and over again and don't ask me why my voice just broke then that was crazy but uh but yeah we, we've got an, a decently expensive side to be fair with you and obviously these players are only going to grow um as we go on obviously Mengi one who's joined us who's 8 million 21 years old we, we've got an averagely young team and some players who were who are worth a decent amount of money as well uh so it kind, kind of sort of caps down now to about 3 million as, as as we go lower down the uh down the list, but we, we've actually not got a bad team. I think Premier League is a push. Um, I think we're overachieving at the minute for how well we're doing with this team. Um, but this is really the only career mode I've done so far because obviously when I play career mode, I play this and record it. So I'm not sure whether this team is actually um, you know, really well equipped for the Premier League or whether we're just overachieving. It's it's going to be one or the other. But we're, we're sort of down to the to, down to the scraps now of players who just aren't worth worth a great deal what we'll do now though is we'll jump to the final hour of the transfer deadline day and then jump into the first game of the episode which is against a ninth placed brighton um a game where hopefully we can compete it's one of the teams which i feel like we should be so let's jump into this first game against brighton away from home thank you enjoy the game The first piece of action came in at the 11th minute as Fosu had it out wide, he knocked it into Mark Sykes, Mark Sykes then found Brown, Brown using a little bit of trickery to find a ball to Bakuna and Bakuna once again getting his name on to the score sheet and he's really turned into be a key player for us this Premier League season, obviously I think he joined uh, the club for about, was it about 13 million from Huddersfield and uh, yeah he's really lit up the uh, the Premier League for us, been one of the standouts, obviously Brown there with a beautiful pass to him and he just strokes it home past the Brighton goalkeeper to put us 1-0 up in this fixture which hopefully we can hold on to and uh, pick up three points today. Brighton though weren't prepared to give up. We were in the final few minutes of the game as they looked to march forward, found a few beautiful ball in behind, but Guinness Walker came across and intercepted and then stupidly tried to pass it. And uh, yeah, they found an equaliser right on the edge of play. And I don't know why I didn't click square, I clicked cross. I tried to do a low driven pass. Why I didn't just clear my lines, I have no idea. But if we're playing realistic, Guinness Walker should have cleared his lines and he didn't. He uh, tried to pass it out, tried to be too smart and uh, it was just a rebound shot off the pass there which beat both Guinness Walker and uh, and Woodman in goal and gave them the equaliser. That was all she wrote though for the game as it finished 1-1. It really disappointing to be fair with you because obviously we were leading 1-0 from about the 11th minute and then we ended up drawing 1-1, uh, drawing uh, losing, dropping two points which the position we find ourselves in at the minute, um, points are vital. Trying to keep ourselves, uh, keep ourselves above water and hopefully stay in the Premier League. Um, we can't keep dropping points and making silly mistakes across the back. But, we, but on and all, on, on like a whole, we actually haven't been awful this season. But uh, a 1-1 one -one draw definitely wasn't too happy with that. Time for yet another game away from home, this time against 13th place Wolverhampton Wanderers. Uh, another game where hopefully if we can compete, we might be able to pick up some points today and propel ourselves from uh, the 17th position. We are 10 points near enough out of the drop zone, but we are uh, very close to it.
and welcome everybody to the Molyneux then for this fixture today against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Big game for us, obviously after that uh, lost points against Brighton, uh, we need to uh, sort of bounce back. I'll take a draw to be fair with you, um, like I said we're about 10 points clear of, of the drop zone, Everton don't seem to be beating many teams at the moment, but we do need to keep picking up points, um, because the last thing we want to do is find ourselves in that drop zone come the end of the, uh, come the, end of the season, but uh, let me show you what team we've got for this fixture today. That's going to be the Oxford lineup for today then for this fixture. Wolves are going to get us underway here at the Molyneux. Early on now, Wolves have the ball passing around just on the edge of our box. Trying to find a way in. Passing it around nicely. Right on the edge now with Phil Foden. Phil Foden now trying to dart forward as he looks for a pass. It's a strike and thankfully uh, took us there to block the ball. Bakuna now with possession. He knocks it forward to find Campbell. Campbell now with a little flick up to find Mark Sykes. Mark Sykes now doing the hard work as he picks out Campbell again. Can Campbell get it onto his right foot? Yes, he can, but it's an easy save for Patricio. 25 minutes deep now, and we're still looking to find an opener. It's Campbell looking for the pass forward to find Sykes. Sykes now, nice little cut inside. Can he get the strike away? It's a little dink up on Selfish. It's a shot and it's blocked. Falls to us again, headed down. They clear it. It's going to fall to Diallo. Tries to knock it forward and they clear it again. Drama now with the ball marching forward. He's got the pace on at the defenders. He's really quick to be fair, Drummer. As the defenders caught up with him now, but he's going to pass it to find Mark Sykes. Mark Sykes now with a strike from distance. Easy save for Patricio. Down to the last five minutes. Great tackle there. We pick up the ball. Referee, that's got to be a free kick, but the ref give, gives nothing. They pass it around and. Oh, ref, don't even bother. Don't even bother. So, okay, so Brown has the ball. He gets launched off the ball, pushed off it, nothing. And then you give a penalty for this. I went to win the ball, and I put my yeah, I put my foot between his legs. I'm sorry. Oh, it's another penalty. I like how we give away a penalty every episode, and yet again we've done the same. Please, Woodman, please just save it. I'm begging. We've gone to the left. He's missed it. No. Do you know what? If that had come off the post and gone back to him, you wouldn't be able to finish it. But because it's hit the post, hit the keeper, and gone to him, he can finish it. Wolves make it 1-0 right on the edge of halftime with a penalty. It's a, it's a penalty every episode. It's getting past a joke now, man. My God. How on earth have we managed to concede? Like We've been the dominant force all game so far. They go through, get a penalty. We should have had a free kick, really, but the ref was just not giving it. They've had a penalty. It's hit the post, hit the keeper, come back to him, and they finished it to make it 1-0. Obviously plays back underway now. Wolves have the ball in their half, knocking it around. Not really doing much with it. Probably just seeing it out now till half time. And there's the half time whistle for you. So we're going 1 0 down after that penalty. Uh, the less said about it, the better because it, it honestly infuriates me. It's lucky that um, our voice is over because at the time the pad nearly went through the monitor. <laughs> like it's just a joke. But at half time, Wolves lead 1 0. So after the half-time break, we get the game back underway here at the Molyneux. 50 minutes deep now, we have the ball, we knock it out wide to find Brown. Brown now in acres of space, looking for a pass, he's going to find Sykes. Sykes with a strike, and that's a great save from Rui Patricio at his near post. I was certain that was going to find the back of the net. No one more reliable than Mark Sykes, but that is a great save from Rui Patricio as he keeps the ball out of the net. Hopefully, though, now we can convert from this corner. It's going to be Bakuna to take, and hopefully we can get ourselves back on at level terms with Wolves. Bakuna whips it into the box. It's a head out. It's on target, but Patricio again with the save. 63 minutes deep now. Wolves have the ball on the edge of our box, knocking it in, trying to find an inroad. Nice bit of skill. It's forward. It's Foden. Great save again from Woodman, coming out narrow in the angle. Gives away a corner in the process, but Phil Foden there. Having a shot from close range, left unmarked, poor defending from ourselves, but Woodman's alert to the danger and pulls off a great save. It is going to be a corner though for Wolves to take just before this substitution. Whipped in to the box, we managed to get the head away, it's going to fall to him. Gareth Bow with a strike, but it's miles wide of the target, not causing us too many problems at all. And we're going to make a quick substitution as well as Santos is going to make his way 
onto the field as well for Fosu. Just hopefully just give us an extra bit of pace on that wing and maybe might just create a chance or two for us. To the 76th minute now as Wolves look to break down the right hand side dispossessed. Guinness Walker who comes across and the ref is going to give yet another penalty. And I'll be honest, I don't have any arguments with this one. It's a very poorly timed tackle. Um, yeah, it, it's a penalty. I'm not going to start crying or throw me dummy out or whatever. Guinness Walker comes across and he's been poor as of recent. Uh, Guinness Walker has. Um, don't know what's, uh, what's wrong with him. He just doesn't seem to be performing as well as he, as he has been. And uh, yeah, he comes across and gives away a penalty. Hopefully... They don't make it two. We're obviously going to go to the left and they go to the right and they make it two. Uh, it looks like this is all but uh, all but over. We've got ten minutes left now to try and find two goals or three goals. It doesn't look likely. They've got a really good team though again. Wolves with the likes of Bale, Foden and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's quite disappointing to lose to two penalties. The first one I argued with this one, it was just a stone wall. To stoppage time, currently still losing 2-0. Mark Sykes now trying to create something for Oxford as they're passing it around nicely. But the ref blows for full time and it is a defeat today at the Molyneux against Wolves. We can't keep dropping points. Obviously, last game against Brighton, we ended up dropping two points with the draw. Now, we end up losing to Wolves. That's three points dropped. We don't pick up anything from this game. And we are fighting near the bottom of the table at the moment. So, we're... Uh, yeah, not a fantastic, not a fast, fantastic day out in so far. I think we've got Fulham next game. Hopefully, we can bounce back, get something from that. But uh, yeah, two 0 defeat to Wolves, not the not the greatest of results. Time for the final game then of the episode against Fulham, who are eleventh. Um, I think we beat them last time we played them. I think we won quite comfortably. Hopefully, we can have a repeat of that. We are away from home this time, and we are dwindling seven points away from the relegation zone. So it's a must must win game, or at least pick up some form of pointage. Pointage, do you like that word? Yeah, I do as well. Let's jump into the game against Fulham. And here we are at Craven Cottage for the uh, for the game against Fulham. We've been on a bad road. Bad road? Yeah, I'm going to say road. We've been on a bad road this episode, obviously picking up one point so far from Brighton and Wolves combined. And uh, if we can pick up three points today against Fulham, hopefully that will put us 10 points clear of the relegation zone and uh, give us something to fight for because at the minute it looks like we're going to be fighting a relegation battle rather than just coasting towards the end of the season. But let me show you what lineup we are fielding for this fixture at Craven Cottage against Fulham. So that's going to be the lineup today. Obviously, seeing as with the away team, the hosts are going to get us underway in this fixture. Five minutes deep now. The ball's with Guinness Walker. Guinness Walker now on the offensive prowl as he sees a ball through to find Campbell. Campbell now in behind the defence. Can he finish it? Yet it's another save. And I still don't think he has found his first goal for us. It still eludes him up to this point. He did well, found himself in the right position, but just couldn't quite stick it past the Fulham goalkeeper who parries it out for a corner kick. Hopefully we can swing this one into the box from Bakuna and put ourselves ahead. It's fizzed in it to the box looking for Campbell. It's punched away by the goalkeeper. It's going to fall to Fosu. Fosu now with the ball under control. Looking to march through the defenders. Nice bit of skill. Can he pick out a pass? No, he can't. But he's going to win us yet another corner. Playing quite good football at the moment. We just need to keep pressing Fulham and hopefully the goal will come. We're only 10 minutes deep though. The game it still hasn't really, really started. But uh, we've definitely started the stronger team. Kuna, ball into the box again, another claim by the goalkeeper, this time we pick it up with Fosu with the shot, and uh, yeah, less about that, the better. 20 minutes deep now, we're still taking the game to Fulham, it's a poor pass, but Drama's going to pick up the loose ball, knocks it to Brown, Brown with a lovely flick now to find Campbell, Campbell now marching forward, nice little kick inside, can he get his shot away, yes he can, but it's another save from the Fulham goalkeeper. It's taken Fulham near enough 30 minutes to get themselves into this game, but now they're passing it around nicely. Working it into the box, it's a great tackle there. Surprised the ref didn't give a penalty, but thankfully it goes wide of the target and it's going to be a goal kick. Fulham still on the prowl then, looking for a goal. Sensi trying to find a pass. They're passing it around nice. It's Cornet now on the ball just on the edge. Trying to find a way into the box. It's a strike. 
and uh, it's a good block from Guinness Walker not sure about the mechanics from FIFA there if we just watch it there um, it's a shot Guinness Walker no Tucker sorry great block there he's completely in the air and then somehow landed on his feet so a majestic performance there from Tucker to block the shot out for a corner it's going to be Ver Verman, is that now? Over it for Fulham, and we can pick up the loose ball with Fosu. Fosu now trying to drive outside the box, gets intercepted. They can pass it around now. It's a ball to the back post, and thankfully, we're there to claim it. Into stoppage time in the first half, trying to march the ball forward. Campbell now picks out Brown. Brown now back into Campbell. The ball's intercepted by Fulham, and the ref is going to blow for half time. Uh, been a... Good performance-ish. Uh, we started strong and uh, dwindled towards the uh, end of the first half. Uh, they had the better of their chances towards the end of the game. Obviously, end of the half, sorry. And we had the better chances sort of start of the half. Very even game, like I said, so far. It's nil-nil. We now look to kick the second half off at Craven Cottage. Scores are still poised at nil-nil. Fulham now looking menacing on the edge of our box. Since he's looking for a pass for Fulham. Oh, that is a lovely cut inside. They find a ball through now. Lovely passing and it was... Do you know what? The passing from Fulham then completely split us open. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I know it's the opposition, but I'm looking forward to the replay because the actual passing and the skill here is absolutely beautiful. Um, as you can see, nice little cut inside there. Sold me an absolute treat. Lovely little pass there into the empty space, and the finish isn't bad either. They, they, they did all the hard work with the passing. The easy part was the finish. They opened the scoreline. It's 1-0 Fulham, and uh, yeah, not great, not great. Brummer now on the ball marching forward. Can he pick out a pass? Lovely ball over the top now to find Fosu. Fosu now marching into the opposition's box. He's going to find Campbell. Campbell now intercepted but wins the ball back. Can he get a strike? Oh, wow. That was some fast play, as you can probably tell from how fast my voice was going. But the finish from Campbell, that, I think that's his first of the season, his first goal for the club. What a way to score. Loose touch from him there, but he wins the ball back with his strength. And the finish, yeah, no keeper save in that. That is a fantastic goal to open your account for Oxford and maybe we might be starting to get the best out of Campbell now that he may have found a bit of confidence. It's 1-1. 80 minutes on the clock, full and pressing. Pushing everybody forward. Are they going to find a go-ahead goal? Corn it now. Into the box, it's a strike and it's 2-1. A nice bit of play again from Fulham has undone the defence and uh, they've, made, they've made us pay. 10 minutes remaining and yet again we can see the goal right at the death near enough we just get pulled from pillar to the post by pillar to post sorry pillar to post by their passing and the finish there's nothing really woodman can do it's a good it's a turn it's a smack and he just can't quite stretch his arm out to it down to the last five minutes campbell looking to march forward using his strength he's actually quite strong using his pace now to pick out sykes great pass it's no how on earth has he missed that Mark Sykes, probably our most reliable player, has missed a one-on-one -on -one and it remains 2-1 to Fulham. I can't believe it. Into stoppage time we go. It's Bakuna looking to march forward. Going to pick out Sykes. Sykes now in behind the defence. Can he get a strike away? Yes, he can. It's a save. Everyone's leaping up for it. Now, is that going to be disallowed? It looks like it's been given. That, I wonder what, what, what? I, I don't even know what went on. All I know is it's now 2-2. Two -two. The seconds remaining, and we may have salvaged a point. But let's just watch this goal again. So Mark Sox obviously gets in behind from Bakuna's pass. It's a strike, great save. And then he kind of just leaps. Does it come off his hand? VAR would be having a field day. I don't think it does. I think it comes off his neck, so that's a goal. As you can probably imagine, Fulham are going to get us underway now. Uh, not too much time left to play after that Mark Sykes uh, goal. Very controversial goal. You know, was it handball? Was it not handball? Was it a foul? Was it not a foul? Nevertheless, we managed to salvage a point at Craven Cottage thanks to that goal. Uh, Mark Sykes again being the hero for us. And also Campbell getting his first goal. So a lot of positives to take from today's fixture. Obviously, three points would have been better than two. Uh, two, sorry, one. Uh, mathematics there, amazing. But uh, not, not an awful performance. We gave as good as we got. Both teams, I would say, were evenly matched throughout. Um... And that's probably why the scoreline finished 2 2. But that is going to wrap up today's episode. A uh, little bit shorter in terms of matches and stuff. Normally, do four, four to three. So I guess we've done a normal. Um a normal sort of episode now what i can do is maybe do like an episode where i do five but i do do like 
brief highlights of all of them just to speed up the season a little bit. I'll leave that for you guys to decide uh, because I'm fully up to date now recording. So when this goes out, I may have done one more episode after this, but I can always just do quick highlights of it. So just let me know what you think of that. If you are enjoying it, obviously, as always, like, comment and subscribe. Ring the bell for more and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.